廿一、廿二條咧就係講男性嘅生殖器官同埋一啲相關結構嘅，咁啊又係 good practice 啊，做曬四個 labeling 先啦，膀胱啦、seminal vesicle、prostate gland、前列腺同埋四個陰莖嘅。咁題目就問啦，四個結構入面呢，邊個係負責製造呢個精液嘅？咁所以成條題目啦，考我哋兩樣嘢啦。第一，做返個 labeling 先。第二啦，就係每個結構嘅功能啦。咁啊，睇清楚題目，今次係講製造啊。咁所以啦，係就係得 s e m i n o p h y s i c a l 同埋 p o s e g l a n d 嘅啫。咁所以答案呢，就係二三啦。咁首先呢，陰莖呢，係攞嚟運送精液，佢就唔係製造精液。而膀胱呢，就直頭唔屬於生殖系統添。Question 21 and 22 refer to the diagram of the male reproductive system and its associated structures. So for the group practice, we do the labeling first: urinary bladder, seminal vesicle, prostate gland, and penis. So for the question, which of the labeled structure are responsible for producing seminal fluid? So in this question, we need to identify the reproductive structures first. So in this question, we need to identify the reproductive structures first and recall the function of the specific structures. So that's why the answer is very straightforward: seminal vesicle and the prostate gland. So that's why the answer is two and three only. C. So you can see that there is no structure four, which is the penis. It is responsible for transferring the semen into the female's vagina by ejaculation. For the urinary bladder, it does not belong to the male reproductive system.